Hi, my name is Stevie Thomas, and I'll be doing two short scenes today. I can't believe it. Sarah Grace, look at you, all growing up. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were just a little thing, 11 or 12, and already an incredible dancer. <laughs> Thank you. You still dance? I went to law school, I'm a lawyer. Wow. Did your father ever forgive you? No. You like it being a lawyer? I'm sorry. It's so strange to see you. I used to write you letters every week, but I didn't know where to send them. I'm sorry, I just disappeared like that. I was... You were pregnant. But we were your family, the dancers. We raised you in that studio. Do you remember what you told me before you left? You said to get an education. You said that there was more to life than dance. You said, what's left for a dancer after she turns 30? And you listen to me. I listen to you completely. You don't dance at all anymore? Baby, that isn't what I meant. Eden came to see me today, Belle. What? She came to see you where? At my office. She said that she's suing Michael Fuller for child support. You didn't know. No. My dad said that you said you didn't want anything from him. I didn't want anything. I wanted everything. Everything or nothing. So I told Eden not to do this. But she, she's a dancer. Stubborn. Well, are you, are you sure that Eden is Michael's? Oh, sweetie. I'm so sorry your dad made you say that to me. Welcome to Never Ending Comics, where the deals are never ending. They make me say that. Can I help you? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, my friend and I have this bet going. That's really sweet, but I don't date customers. Store policy. Well, uh, lucky for you, technically, I'm not a customer. I don't have any money. Yeah. I also don't date poor people. That's my policy, not the store's. Thanks for coming in. Toodles! Oh, wait, 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 that wasn't the bet. This is it. Which X-Men storyline is considered more epic? A, the Dark Phoenix Saga, or B, Whedon's Run? How about C, who cares? They're both right over there, right next to the life-size cutout of that Wolfman guy with the bad manicure. You mean Wolverine? Who would name their kid Wolverine? All I know is that if he snags my Abercrombie sweater one more time, he's going to be fighting crime with Lee Pressons. I should have known better than to ask a cute girl about comics. Well, first of all, thanks for noticing my cuteness. People think that it's easy to look like me, but it's not. And secondly, wait, what were we talking about after me? Uh, comics? Ew. I mean, yay, comics! I know plenty about comics! Uh, it's not like I took this job because I was fired from Bennigan's and The Gap and had a teensy-weensy barista meltdown at Starbucks. <laughs> no way. You're foam girl? Is that what they're calling me now? Foam. Light foam. Heavy foam. Fat-free foam. Foam, 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 foam in your big fat face! Wow, <laughs> it is you. You're a Starbucks legend. I was. And now I work here, and I have to deal with greasy-fingered, pettiless fanboys who think that they can hit on me. I mean, 
Welcome to Never Ending Comics, where the deals are never ending. Wait, did I say that already? Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Toodles!